12 tips to master Revit door families. Tip number one, understand what to model and what to nest. To properly organize your Revit door family, make sure to understand which part shall be modeled directly in the main door family and which part shall be loaded as an external nested family. This is an optimal workflow for beginners and intermediate users. Model the door panel and frame directly in the main door family. Use nested families for the plant swing and for any hardware components like handles. If you are an advanced user with a large library of panels and frames, using a nested family for everything might be an option. Tip number two, plan the door you want to create. Before creating your new door family, make sure to understand what you need to create. Is it a steel frame door or a wooden frame? Are you going to use the door for renderings and 3D views? If so, maybe you need to add some hardware components for more realism. Do you want the door frame thickness to be customizable? If so, you will need to create a parameter and matching reference planes. Draw a sketch of the door you need. Make a list of all the required parameters. When you are ready, create your family by using the default Autodesk door family template. Tip number three, use extrusion to model door panels. In most cases, the door panels should be modeled using the extrusion tool. Go to an elevation view and click on extrusion. Then select pick lines in the draw option. Click on all of the reference planes and hit the lock icon. Select the trim tool. Trim all the purple boundary lines together. Click the green check to complete. Go back to the plan view. Create a new reference plane below the exterior wall face. Create the dimension between the two reference planes and assign the thickness label. Then use the align tool and align the face of the door panel to the new reference plane. Make sure to click on the lock icon. Try to modify the width dimension. You can see that the door panel automatically adjusts. Tip number four, set up the rough dimensions. In the default Autodesk door family template, we'll find the rough height and the rough width dimension parameters. These parameters are used for the dimension of the hole created in the wall, also known as the opening cut. That means that rough dimensions are found by creating a formula that adds the door panel dimension to part of the frame thickness. First, we'll create new reference planes to assign the rough dimensions. For more clarity, we'll create a new type of reference planes. Click to create a new subcategory. Call it rough. Assign a red color and use the standard aligning line pattern type. Create three new reference planes around the current door. Now create a new dimension between the two new vertical reference planes in the existing central one. Click on the EQ button. Create another dimension from the ground to the new horizontal plane. Create a final one between the two red vertical planes. Assign the rough width and the rough height labels to these dimensions. Now let's modify the extent of the opening cut. Select the cut by placing your cursor on these edges and toggling through the options using tab. Click on edit sketch. Use the align tool to move each purple boundary line to the red reference planes. Ignore the warning by clicking on remove constraints. Make sure to click on the lock icon. When you are done, click on the green check. Now go to the family types menu. Click on this icon to create a new dimension parameter. Call it frame thickness. Type in a basic value for the frame thickness, 50 millimeters for now. In the formula column, enter this formula for the rough width. Basically, we add the width value to the frame thickness multiplied by two, since there is a frame on each side. We subtract 38 millimeters, which is the estimated overlap between the wall and the frame, also multiplied by two. Repeat the same formula for the rough height, although you don't have to multiply by two since there is no frame at the bottom. As you can see, there is now an automatic gap between the door panel and the wall opening. Fill the space up by creating a door frame. Tip number five, use sweep to create door frame. Before modeling the frame, go back to the plan view and create a new reference plane just next to the rough width plane. Assign the frame thickness parameter to the dimension. Go back to the elevation view. 
Select the Sweep tool. Click on Pick Path. Select the three lines of the opening cut, which shall be matching the red reference planes. Click the green check to complete, then click on the Edit Profile button. Rivet will ask you to go to a plan view. Start to draw the desired profile of the frame. In this case, we are using a steel frame typical for a drywall. When you are done drawing the profile, add some dimensions. Always use dimensions on reference planes whenever possible. Adjust the dimension value and click on the lock icon. Use the Align tool for all boundary lines that are directly on the reference plane. Make sure to click on the lock icon. When you are done drawing and putting constraints on your profile, click the green check twice to complete. Make sure to test if the sweep is properly working. Try to modify the frame thickness, the door width, and the default wall thickness. Tip number 6. Make door 3D geometry invisible in plan view. The 3D geometry you created for the frame and panels are great for 3D views and elevations, but they are not quite adequate for a plan view. You will make these 3D elements invisible in plan view and replace them with masking regions and symbolic lines. First, select the frame and door panel. In the instance properties, click on the visibility graphics override. Uncheck plan RCP and when cut in plan RCP. The objects will become gray. Go to the annotate tab and select the masking region tool. In the subcategory, select frame mullion cut. In this example, we draw a simple rectangle. Use the Align tool to lock the boundary lines to all the reference planes. Lock all the constraints. Go to the Visibility Graphics override in the Instance Properties. Check the box for Show only if instance is cut. This way, the frame masking region won't appear if the door is not cut. Click the green check to complete. Tip number 7. Create nested plan swing family. The plan view representation of the door swing should be made in a separate family. This is an example of such a family that allows you to modify the angle of the swing. A full tutorial to learn how to create plan swing door families will soon be released. For now, load it into your current door family. Click anywhere to place the plan swing. Select the swing and click on Edit Type. Click on a small rectangle to associate the thickness and width parameter to the current family. In the Instance Properties, click on a small rectangle to assign a parameter for the swing angle. Click on this icon to create a new parameter. Create it as an Instance Parameter group under the Graphics category. The planned swing dimensions shall now be matching the main door family dimensions. Now, use the Align tool to lock the planned swing family to the reference planes. Make sure to click on the lock icon. Try to adjust the width and the door thickness. Also try to modify the swing angle in the properties. Tip number 8. Add external families for hardware. If you plan to use a door family for 3D views and rendering, you should add hardware components like handles for more realism. However, never model hardware directly into the family. Always use a nested family. In this case, we will use a pre-made Autodesk family. Go to the Insert tab and click on Load Family. Go to the Door subfolder, then select Hardware. In this case, we use the Handle Lever family. Go to the Create tab and select Components. Click to create two door handles, one for each side. Rotate and mirror the second one if needed. Then, use the Align tool to lock the handle to the door reference plane. Make sure to click on the lock icon. Create the dimension between the handle center and the reference plane. Enter a dimension and click on the lock icon. 
You can try to modify the width to make sure that the handles keep the same distance to the end of the door. Now go to the elevation view, create a new reference plane. You can save time by clicking an existing reference plane and using the CS shortcut to create a new one. Place the reference plane about a third of the height. Use the align tool to lock both handles center plane to the new reference plane. Set a new dimension between the level and the new reference plane. Select the dimension and click on this icon to create a new distance parameter. Call it Strike Distance. Adjust the dimension if required. Tip number 9. Assign all geometry and lines to the correct subcategory. Once the family is loaded into a project, you can use the Visibility Graphics or Object Style menu to adjust the style or visibility of each subcategory. That is why you must make sure that all the elements in your family are assigned to the correct subcategory. In this example, we select the door panel. In the Instance Properties, find the subcategory parameter and select Panel. Use this technique for all 3D elements in the family. Tip number 10. Assign material parameters to 3D geometry. To be able to assign a custom material to each of the door components once you load the family into a project, you must first create the parameters inside the door family. Select the door panel, then click on this rectangle in the Instance Properties. Click here to create a new parameter and call it Panel Material. Repeat the same process for the frame. Call the parameter Frame Material. If you want to assign material to a nested family, select the family and click on Edit Type. Click on the rectangle next to the material parameter. Create a new parameter and call it Hardware Material. Usually a single parameter is enough for all the hardware components. Tip number 11. Avoid door super families. Now that you've learned how to create your own door family, try to stay away from door families found on the internet. Most of the families made by vendors that you can find online are absolute garbage that you should stay away from. Here's an example from a super family found online. It contains hundreds of custom parameters, allowing you to create a big range of customization. The problem is that this door family is very heavy and bloated and might cause performance issues with your models. In case of doubt, always use the default Autodesk families or create your own. As you can see, there's a lot of default Autodesk door families and they're usually pretty good. Tip number 12. Create a custom door family template. If you are going to create multiple similar door families, it might be a good idea to create a custom family template. Create all the basic common parameters, reference planes and geometry. Then save the family. Find the file and rename the extension from .rfa to point RFT. Every time you create a new door family, use this custom family template. All your custom parameters and reference plane will already be available. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to download our free 50 pages pen flat PDF guide about doors at rivetpure.com slash doors. Also, make sure to check out the Revit Pure Basics package. It contains an ebook, a complete video tutorial series, an exercise project, and a basic Revit template. Basics has been used by thousands of users. People love the simplicity and efficiency of the ebook. It is built with an emphasis on images and can be used by people of any skill level. Download the complete package at revitpure.com/basics.